Good morning, good day, good night, at whatever time zone you're watching this video. Hello, it's me, Amina. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're a new viewer. It is currently 8 a.m. in Honolulu, Hawaii, so good morning, everyone. Today's weather is a bit cloudy, but forget that because in front of us, we have a beautiful rainbow. It was raining in the morning and then the sun decided to come out and everyone knows that rain plus sun equals beautiful rainbow. Today we are going hiking and then swimming and then eating obviously. We have finished getting some breakfast foods and other supplies, but now it is time to go hiking. The hiking spot that we are heading to is called Coco Head. Coco Head is a hiking area that defines the southeastern side of the island Oahu in Hawaii. Coco Head takes somewhere around 45 minutes to one hour to get to the top, so I'm very excited to see how well I'm gonna be able to handle this hiking today. Ten seconds later. I haven't even started to climb the mountain yet. I haven't even started yet and I'm already exhausted, but surprise Amina, you still have a long way of stairs to climb. By the time I get to the top, my legs will definitely feel like noodles. Are you ready to climb? Nope. I'm gonna stay here. You're gonna stay here? I don't Can care. I stay here with you? I mean, we're not there. It's like a jungle. Look at this. <laughs> when we were climbing Coco Head, there was this one hiking place where it led us to this jungle area, and now I have to climb back to the hiking stairs. Surprisingly, we're almost reaching the top of the Coco Head Trail. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but after 50 minutes, we have finally climbed the Coco Head Trail. It is much windy on top of Coco Head rather when we were climbing the trail. hydrated kids water has never tasted so better i think it is time to explore this entire coco head trail and the views it has to offer so follow me and i will give you all a tour <laughs> You're so refreshing. Oh my god!
I'm now going to different parts of this place up here to see different views of the city. In the Cocoa Head hiking trail, once you get at the top, there's honestly so much to explore. There are multiple gorgeous ocean and city views, which in my opinion are perfect for pictures. jungle out here now i think it is somewhere around 1 to 12 30 pm and we have been hanging around here for an hour or so in around 30 minutes we will have to say goodbye to this beautiful place and go back down this cocoa head trail We are now going back down after taking a look at the beautiful mountain. And going back down is much harder than going up because it's super steep and you might fall and slip, so we do not want to do that. Look at how steep that is, so we're using our hands and feet to go down. I wish it was like a slide. Guys, I'm so happy to say that we have finally made it back down after like a long 30 minutes. Our legs are so tired. So after our very long hike, I was so moody and tired because I wanted to go to sleep but instead we went to the snorkeling area with a bunch of fish and other sea creatures swimming around. So we're at the beach right now again. And there's like a bunch of fish and octopus. Look at her. We're snorkeling. 
This is a fit check. Look at her, looking like she's about to go down a submarine. Look at my flippers, I look like Donald Duck. I really like these. I always love to give you guys the full experience of everywhere I go to, so I got my trusty GoPro and decided to film my snorkeling adventure. Enjoy watching all of the marvelous fish. been swimming and recording all the fishies for 15 minutes and just when I was about to get out of the water there were a bunch of fish surrounding me at one point and I got really startled that I even screamed. I just got out of the water and now I'm done with swimming completely. So that was a little tour of the water. I hope you enjoyed the little beach and fishies. But now we're leaving because it's like really freezing and I'm so cold but I really enjoyed watching the fish. Some of them scared me even though I eat these fish. We just came into another beach. So right now, we are at the Banzai Pipeline in Hawaii. The pipeline is known for its huge waves that break in shallow water just above the Sharp Reef. run away from the water.
and after that, my phone died and was never seen again. Actually, just kidding. My phone is in good shape. So, quick funny story time. What, honestly, what is there to tell? You guys literally saw in the last clip that I got swallowed by the water. My phone got soaking wet, and so did I. And, you know, at first, my phone didn't work for a few days, and it was, like, dead. Not dead entirely, it's just that since there was water inside of my phone, there was no noise coming out. So whenever I would call somebody, get a text message, like, you know, the usual noise that you would get, nothing would come out. But then I used this, like trick on youtube where it's like remove water from your phone it's like this noise i used that for like 30 minutes and then my phone started working and it's in good shape it's healthy and i mean yeah that's all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and turn the post notifications on to be notified every time i post a new video hope you guys have an amazing day bye